now. So we'll start off just from the home screen so you can see some like the new uh, you know, the loading icons. Obviously you can see the, the clear buttons in the background. If I already press it, it would clear um, the text field, but it's a new loading icon there. Um, then we can navigate now uh, some of the other features. Um, uh, you know, we that aren't necessarily um, you know uh, completely implemented. You know, you had the drop down list in there. Um, we had the, the Pokédex. That this is the main one here that I wanted to share. Um, so we go to the Pokédex. You know, we have um, the ability to look at uh, a Pokémon and view specific features. Um, it's pulling all this using a JSON request. Uh, you have the type. Uh, the weaknesses, uh, whether or not it has a next evolution, uh, the image, height, weight, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then, you know, there's obviously, it, there, there are quite a bit of Pokemon, so sometimes the rendering, it can be kind of slow. But, uh, you know, we look and we see um, our next evolution here is Pidgeot. Uh, we can see its weaknesses. Um, so it's pretty, it's a pretty extensive Pokedex. It doesn't include any of the new Pokemon, unfortunately. This is just the original uh, group, you know, and then uh, if we look at our um, our battle game, you know, a cool feature that I added was, you know, a simple tic-tac-toe game, um, easy to, you know, demonstrate how that, you know, set state uh, function, you know, how those can be added and, and utilized to your advantage just to make a simple game and just using um, alert dialogues. Uh, to help you in, in clearing the board when finished um, and, you know, using logic to uh, have different results, you know, if it's high in this, in this instance, you know, last game you could see the other player won, um, so, and then it clears the board each time, but, uh, yeah, overall, really fun project, um, enjoyed getting to work in this class, and um, look forward to um, next semester.